Hello everyone, welcome back to Bastion. So this is the end, the last area, uh, the end of the line, and yeah, I think we are ready to go. I can't hear him at all anymore. He's too far away. But he'll be all right. Okay, so the this calamity hit the Tazzle terminals hardest of all. Yeah, this is kind of the Ura capital now, if I understand this correctly. Just needs to get that shard from Zolf and come on home. This is not the way to go. You know why Zolf went back there. The place was his home. All his old friends and family were there. Taken by the calamity. Zolf must be there all alone, just waiting. Well, we're not going to keep him waiting for long. Actually, at this point, it's... You know what's funny? Well... <laughs> no, I don't know what's funny. Um, yeah, at this point, it's probably no use collecting shards. So this level up doesn't do me much good, I think. Probably could go back actually and collect another spirit, but oh, I think I will be fine. Look around. There's not much left to do here in the Bastion, I'm afraid. So why not tell each other stories to pass the time, right? Well, go ahead and tell your stories. I won't stop you. But Zia, there's another reason I've been telling you all this. There's something I want you to understand. When the kid brings back that shard, the bastion will be complete. What happens to Zolf?
Zelandia will be whole again. Whoa! Damn, I took a beating there. Okay, where are the Ura? Things will go back to the way they used to be. That's the power of the Bastion. This whole place is a living record of the times before the Calamity. The way things were before this story. Good times, right? Oh, I actually forgot this. Uh... Oh, yeah. Space, of course. self again. Think of all those times that didn't go your way. This really is a hell of a cannon. Looks like the ground is giving away again. All the life's little setbacks. Imagine if you could have another go at him. Actually, now I have to be careful not to jump over the edge. Here. Ooh. The ground is disappearing, no. I don't know actually. Sure, it sounds promising, but I think part of what makes life I guess there's nothing more to say. worthwhile and special is that it is, um, yeah, a one way road. <laughs> all irreversible after all.
Okay. Oh, apparently Whoa. we have a jumping puzzle now. <laughs> There's something else. Of course there is. How come I know so much about the bastion? Ah. Not the right way, apparently. Well, I designed the place, but that's beside the point. There's one problem with a place that sets things back to a bygone time. You can't test it. <laughs> well, where's the fun in testing? So you're probably wondering if the calamity happened already. What's to stop it from happening again after the Bastion does its thing? Yeah, well that is a good question. The answer is... I don't know. You're wondering if there ain't some other way out of this mess. It's alright. I can tell. But why would you even want another way? Unless... Unless you wanted to stay here... with us. Ah, damn it, wrong button. <laughs> Randomly throwing grenades. Well, that's sweet and all, but I don't know if I can stick around. I'm noticing a suspicious lack of enemies in this area. Oh, is this... Oh, actually, yeah. <laughs> yes, I remember. The weight of the calamity. It's on our shoulders. We can't just let it go. Bastion does have another function. Strictly speaking. This looks kind of heavy <laughs> for the kid. Ah, uh, this is not the way. Unfortunately, I cannot jump or dodge roll anymore, so I'm a bit slower. If ever the monument blew out. Evacuate. First, we'd round up as many folks as we can carry. Next, we detonate the cores and we take off away from here. Too bad this battering ram cannot be upgraded. <laughs> but that might just be a little bit overpowered. A little bit. <laughs> you bet. Of course, that would mean no going back. Ever. But then again. That way, all of us could leave the city together. You know, Zolf and his countrymen won't be giving up that shard without a fight, don't you?
actually this fight um, I could have done better with my normal weapons I think. This thing is a bit too slow for my taste. Zolf and the Ura. All they want now is to see the Bastion fall. And now I can, um, I mean, exploring the maps is considerably less Zolf fun. dedicated his life to a lasting peace between the Ura and Zelandia. Oh, but well, this is a one-hit kill for everything. I guess I shouldn't complain. Zolf ain't lost every shred of decency, though, has he? He tried to warn you about his plans. He tried to warn the kid. Damn it, hold still. Ah, too far away. For Zolf, this ain't a personal matter. Now you stay right there. No, of course you don't. It ain't a simple matter of pride. Okay, so now the shard should be mine. Yeah. One thing's for sure, the Ura can't be happy that the kid followed Zolf all the way home. Oh man, can I please drop this? <laughs> I find this slightly encumbering. Well, look at that. Zulf. So I can either move on and abandon him or take him with me. Zulf is badly injured and but breathing. It appears his countrymen turned on him as their situation grew desperate. He nearly destroyed the Bastion, and yet, yeah, actually, I'm going to take him with me. Because, yeah, he is... I can see it now. The kid in one corner, and Zolf in the other. Ain't much of a fight. <laughs> the thing is, yes, he is now my enemy, but when you consider his, his um, history, what he went through, and that the calamity is basically Selandia's fault. Then, yeah. Don't you worry, though. Once the Bastion's restored, it'll all be all right. You ain't still thinking about that whole leaving the city thing, are you? I mean, in a fight, if he was actually um, in a condition to fight me, then maybe I could kill him. But like this, when he is already um, about to die and helpless, no, no, not like that. Making way 
So yeah, there is nothing else I can do here but to walk on. I cannot fight. I can't do anything. Still, this is not a suicide mission. As you can see, the aura will eventually let us pass. Was off by now. Actually, I have only, um, like I've said, completed the game once before, and then I also choose to um, to take Zolf with me. I don't know if I would have had to kill all those Ura otherwise, probably. So, I guess this is a good thing. You reminds me of myself when I was his age. Yeah. I ever tell you about those days? It's just less people that have to die, so... Hey, kid. Get up, kid. Come on, that ain't funny. I say get up. That's more like it. <laughs> now, set that shard into the monument there. Then we'll talk. Okay, yeah. Can't believe you brought him back again. Bet you had to do more than say please this time. <laughs> okay, um, is Rux still around here somewhere? First things first, kid. The Bastion's waiting. Yes, I think it is. Yeah, there is only one thing left to do here. The Bastion. It's finally finished. Oh, well, this looks much nicer. Now, there's something I want you to see. Welcome. To the heart of the bastion. I ain't one for long goodbyes, so here's the deal. Zia and I figure you've done the heavy lifting, so you get to do the honors. We can tell you how to work this thing if you got any questions. We made it. Well, Zia, you have a voice. Any moment I'd want to live again happened after the calamity, not before. Well, if you see it this way... Yeah, let's talk to those guys for a bit. When I finally found my people, I told them we could help. They just took me for a traitor. Glad you showed up. Zolf tried to talk me into joining him. I tried to talk him out of it. I guess we both failed. Okay, so we have the restoration and evacuation power. If I could be any place I wanted, I'd stay right here. We could go anywhere in the world. And what do you think of the restoration? So, let's see. You can either prevent the calamity, or stick around with me and Rex. I'd hate to be in your shoes. Hey, kid. Don't let anything you've done get to you. You could save all those creatures here and now. Well, this, I think, is a good point. You've got one thing left to do, so you hang on to that badge. Besides, you earned it. I mean, we did kill a lot of beings in this um, adventure. Zolf only brought more ruin to the Earth. No wonder they didn't take kindly to him. 
not only the Eora but also plenty of animals. Even though those animals, most of them were really annoying. I always wondered what the motherland was like. Not that it matters anymore. So restoring the world, resetting the calamity could definitely be a way uh, of saving you can them. Undo the calamity here and now. Go on, kid. And before I forget, thank you. So this is really the end, I guess. Initiate the Bastion's restoration protocol. Or initiate the Bastion's evacuation protocol. Well, I am actually going to choose evacuation. Um, yeah, I think the main reason is uh, because Rux himself said that resetting the world, turning back time basically, that could very well mean that the Calamity is just going to happen again. And actually I think that's very likely. Uh, yeah, because I don't see, see any way why things would turn out, or I don't see any, any reason why things would turn out different than they did before. Um, yeah, and also, like I've said before, life is basically a one-way road. What's done is done. That's at least how I see it, so... Yeah, there's only one way, only one possible way to move on, that is forward, so I'm going to choose evacuation. Oh, mother. And here I figured you'd had enough of me by now. You could have undone the calamity itself, but instead you want to stay in a world like this. Yeah, well, you cannot choose the world you live in. You can only admit, kid, work to make it I better. I didn't put much thought in that idea of carrying on with you here. We can't go back no more, but I suppose we could go wherever we please. And if anyone's left out there, I sure would like to see the look on their faces when we dock this thing right on their doorstep. Getting ahead of myself, though. I'm gonna need a first mate. What do you say? Perhaps we could even go back to the Yora. I mean, they let us go in the end. And if they see that we actually came back for them, Who knows what could happen. So yeah, the end of the let's play. First of all, thank you very much for watching, of course. Uh, yeah, excellent, excellent game. I discovered this um, pretty much by accident and just found the looks of it uh, interesting, the visual style, and then I really got into it. So yeah, this is definitely a recommendation if you haven't um, played the game already. Normally this wouldn't even be my, my, my type of game, this kind of um, hack and slay thing. But uh, yeah, in this it's uh, really a lot of fun, everything works well together, all the different game mechanics. It looks amazing, I think I really love this visual style. I guess this is dependent on your individual taste, but I think it looks very, very good. And the soundtrack is uh, just brilliant. I think my favorite songs from this soundtrack, or my favorite pieces, are this, the end credits music, and also this track that plays um, in the Bastion itself and also in the main menu. So yeah, I recommend uh, buying this game and also the soundtrack. So I guess there is nothing uh, left for me to say here. 
So once again, thank you for watching. Comment, like and subscribe as always. And yeah, I will see you guys in my other Let's Plays. And until then, take care. Yeah. <laughs>